So now it's time to talk about biscuits because Tech Up Dave is here and uh, he has his biscuits with him. Good so, morning. How good morning. How are you? You well? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Good. Yes, very, very well. You've got a sensible, sensible yes. piece of clothing yes. on today. You've got a black and white uh, top on. So After uh, the abuse I got last week. Well, and rightly so. Yes. Rightly so. Uh, all right, then. Let's have the biscuit break time. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just laugh at that ludicrous um, the visuals for that. Honestly, if you listen on talk uh, radio, it's, it's, you should definitely watch on talk TV uh, on uh, either whether it's Sky 522, Virgin 606, Freeview 237 or Freesat 217 or indeed on the YouTube or the talk TV app simply to see that little sting that Dave created. You created it yourself. Guilty as charged. Well, that's it. What have you got today? Uh, what have I got today? I've got nice biscuits. No, they're not. They're yes, not. They're they not are. nice. Yes, they are. Are I you still like on my... your diet? I'm still on my diet. I'm so are you my... having a biscuit? Well, I'll, ha I'll take a biscuit off you. I'll take two biscuits off you, but I'll And eat then you're going to feed them to Jack later. I'm, I'm not going to feed them to Jack. Yeah, Thank I'll, you very much. I'm not a it. massive fan of these biscuits, but under duress, in a crisis, well, in a crisis, I will eat a nice biscuit. I thought if you had uh, chocolate ones, they, they'd be worse. So I'm yes. something that weren't chocolate. I am actually losing a little bit of weight, but um, believe it or not, I'm going for uh, I'm going for lunch with we've got we've got the return uh, lovely Gabriella, who, as you know, is the usual producer of this um, uh, program, is in Italy at the moment. She's with mm -hmm. her family, so we have had the return of the lovely Beth Keeley. It's like has, it's like the the old gang back. The old together, gang then. back together. The old gang back together. Yeah. Um, who says the sequel uh, can't be better than the original? Anyway, um, Beth is uh, and I are going for lunch after this program and a gossip. And the go there, there's so much gossip to get through from the last time I saw Beth, which was about a month and a half ago, that we've actually got an agenda of gossip. Really? There's so much got there's about eight or nine items now, so uh, Beth is smiling. She's she nodding. <laughs> yeah. Am I on this list? <laughs> you're obviously, obviously on the list, oh dear. Uh, Dave. There's so much, so much gossip about you. Right then, uh, you're in the studio to talk about many serious things, including Mr Blobby, but before we get to that, let's have Cat of the Week. <laughs> It's Cardi B's Cat of the Week. <laughs> it is indeed the Cat of the Week. Sorry, I'm just laughing at that ludicrous one as well. So I think I'm going to make more. You, you should. I think, well, you, 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 were, you were threatening to make a new new one for yeah. Cat of the Week, weren't yeah, you? Because I, I sent you some pictures yes. of my friend Natasha's cats you did. as well for that. Um, I'm working on that. I had a brilliant did. idea last night. You had a brilliant, oh, goodness, yeah. oh dear. The, creati the, creative, the creative genius. genius the creative working. genius continues. Right, who's, anyway, the cat, who's the Cat of the Week? Uh, cat of the Week this week is Tiger, uh, who was nominated by cat mum, Catherine Wildman. And there you see Tiger on the screen. But that's Tiger when he's seven weeks old, apparently. That's, that's him. She. That's we see him right now. Sorry, she. she. That's a, a very very lovely kitten and then we we have another picture don't we of, yes uh, so uh catherine had tiger since she was seven weeks old she's now 14 years old and that's the 14 year old version of uh, beautiful tiger. beautiful cat uh, lovely but tabby very cat. much still the little kitten she brought home she is perfect and the joy she has brought is immeasurable and i love her so that's uh catherine wildman's Cat of the Week. That is wonderful. Tiger. Wonderful. Well, Catherine, thank you very much indeed for sending Tiger in. Tiger is beautiful, both as a kitten and indeed as a 14 year old now. So, Please um, remember, don't send the actual cat. Don't send the, the cat. No, don't send the cat in. Send pictures of the cat in. Yes. That's the key thing with, with Cat the of the Week. We have, we, have, we have enough cats already. I don't think, I don't think Jack would be too happy if no. I brought any more cats home. Um, now, um, thank you to Catherine and thanks to everybody and thanks to Dave, of course, for all your technical uh, and administrative genius. Um, they're, they're, yes, it's all got really out of hand. There it? are quite but a few cats. Just what, keep tweeting pictures to Peter, it's fine. What, what, what has also got out of hand was so we had we've talked about the mr blobby um the, the mr, blobby, mr. blobby update we've talked about you you see we needed something for that as well you should have had a mr blobby update but i don't i think this is probably the last mr blobby update that we'll do because we've been talking i think this is now the third week yeah, in a row third week where we're talking about the mr blobby uh, costume on ebay yes which went for 62 grand yes but there's a twist in the tail dave so we told you last week they'd been sold for 62 grand and we told you that two more had appeared on, online since then. One was up for eight grand and the other was 15. 15 grand for a Mr. Blobby. I mean, yes. 62 grand for a Mr. Blobby. 62 grand and uh, apparently, although the guy who won it bid multiple times, he's pulled out. He's pulled out. So, so he said he'd pay 62 grand for a Mr. Blobby costume. Yeah. And now he's not, what, what, what's happening now? Well, the guy who he owns pulled it... Out. The guy who uh, bid for it has pulled out. Right. So uh, 
all bets are off. So does and it go back on sale or does it go to the second person? What happens with eBay? I mean, surely that's a contract, isn't well, it? Yeah, well, yeah, it's sort of a contract, but it's not legally enforceable. Right, so okay. Not much of a contract, then. Not much of a contract. Oh, my, no. oh my, oh my contract for work is legally enforceable. There's <laughs> suddenly just decided to stop paying me, for example. You know when you swipe your card on the way in you, and you, the doors don't oh, open? I heard that means a, you can't get in. I heard at another broadcaster, which I will not name, but if you look up, you can think about it, um, there was someone who came in to work one time, mm -hmm. um, and everybody around this person knew that they'd been fired, and in broadcasting it can be very, very brutal, and he was trying to log in, could not log into his computer. They hadn't cancelled his building pass. Couldn't log into the computer. He rang IT and said, you what's know, going on? Like, what's going on? And they said, you need to ring HR. They rang HR and then said, I'm sorry, your contract's been terminated. So he had to leave. I mean, can, how unbelievably awkward is that? Oh, I've heard of a presenter, not here, uh, who went in to record their final show and their pass was cancelled while they were in the building and they couldn't get out. They were cancelled. The pass was cancelled while they were in the building? Yes. That's brutal. That's really that brutal. Because then what, you're stuck what, and can't get out. What's the worst story you've heard about this? Actually, I want I want people to I want people to tell us. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. We'll we'll keep keep the names of yes. of these of these things out of it. But uh, but I Mr mean, Blobby hasn't been sold. Uh, the, the guy who owns Mr. Blobby is not going to relist him for the time being. He's, I think he's just fed up. So, <laughs> There's been a lot of publicity Mr. about Blobby. Mr. Blobby. But interestingly enough, the two other costumes that went up for sale, the one for, for eight oh, yes, grand and the one for 15 grand, yes. they got to the end of their auction. Nobody bid. Nobody bid? No. So they didn't sell either. The eight grand one has been relisted, so if you're still interested, go. Uh, and a quick search this morning mm. discovered there are 269 items uh, under the heading Mr Blobby. Under the headline, heading Mr Blobby. Yeah, so. so my question is, Dave, mm -hmm. do you think we could get a Mr Blobby costume on expenses for you to wear <laughs> as part of this segment? <laughs> no. Should we try? No. I'm sure we could borrow Mr Blobby. Uh, no. Uh, are you, are you sure no. you would like to wear a Mr. Blobby <laughs> costume? Would that not be something you'd like to do? No. No, no it isn't. Okay, well, that's, that's fairly definitive. Um, Dave, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for the Cat of the Week. Thanks for the Blobby update. Um, it's always, always great to talk to you.